LOL, AKA ASAP, TTYL, OMG, YOLO! And last but not least, GCF. Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to add another acronym to the list, GCF, or Greatest Common Factor. Alright, today is all about the Greatest Common Factor, or more commonly known as the GCF. So first, let's talk about what is the Greatest Common Factor, and it's pretty simple. If you just look at the name, uh, the Greatest Common Factor is just the greatest of the common factors between two or more numbers. That's all it is. You find the common factors and then whichever one's the greatest, that's your GCF. Let's try an example. There's a couple ways we can find the GCF. The first one we're going to go over is by listing factors. So I'm going to find the GCF of 24 and 40. First, I'm going to list the factors of each of those numbers. So 24, I'm going to go through my factor pairs. So first, I always start with 1, and 24, it's an even number, so I know 2 works. 2 times 12 is 24. I know 3 works. 3 times 8 is 24, also 4. Times 6, no 5, and then I'm back to 6. So those are my factors for 24. I'm going to rewrite them in order down here. So for 24, my factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Okay. Next, I'm going to list my factors of 40. I'll do it in blue. Let's see. So, same thing for 40, always start with 1. 1 and 40. Uh, it's also even, so 2 is going to work. 2 times 20. 3 is not a factor of 40, so I'll skip that. 4 is 4 times 10. 5 is because it ends in a 0, so I know 5 works. 5 times 8 is 40. 6, no. 7, no. We're back to 8, so we're done there. I'm going to do the same thing and list my factors down here. So 40 in order. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and 40. Those are my factors for 40. Now, I've got my factors. Now, as the name says, GCF, greatest common factor. Common means it's the same in both numbers. It's a factor for both 24 and 40. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to circle my common factors. Well, 1 is common. They're in both. Same with 2. Same with 4. 3 no, 5 no, 6 no, 8 yes, 10 no, 12 no, 20, 24, 40. So those are all my common factors, 1, 2, 4, and 8. And then all you got to ask is, well, which one is the greatest of the common factors? And obviously 8 is the greatest. So my final answer, the greatest common factor of 24 and 40 is... Eight. GCF equals eight. Okay. Let's find the GCF using another strategy. For example two, we're going to find the GCF by prime factorization. So we're going to do the same exact problem and just solve it a different way. Find the GCF of 24 and 40. We're going to use prime factorization. So first, I'm going to use a factor tree and figure out what the prime factorization is of both numbers. If you want to pause it and try to do it on your own, go for it. So for 24, I've got lots of options of where to start. Uh, it's always easy to start with 2 when you have even numbers, so I'm going to do that. 2 times 12, that's prime, so I'm done with that. Uh, 2 times 6, done. 2 times 3, done and done. So my prime factorization of 24 is going to be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. 
I'm going to leave it expanded like this instead of writing two cubed, uh, and you'll see why in a second. Next, let's do prime factorization of 40. 40, I'm going to start with 2 again. 2 times 20 is 40. That's prime. 2 times 10 is 20. There's a prime. And then finally, 2 times 5 is 10. And those are both prime. So my prime factorization of 40 is 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So I have my prime factorization of 24 and 40 done. Now all I need to look uh, at is see what prime numbers are in common for both of the prime factorizations. So you can see they both have a 2. They both have another two, and then they both have a third two. So all we have to do to find the GCF now is multiply. So they've got one, two, three twos in common. So two times two is four times two is eight. So again, the GCF of 24 and 40 is eight. Okay, here's some to try on your own. Thanks for watching this video, and if you liked it, please subscribe.